walk, 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 walk. Yeah, I know you can talk. Can you show the back? Can you show how long your hair is? No, they can't see when you do that, your hair. Let me see, turn around. Turn them in the back. Go up, go up a little bit so they can see the length. See, Naraya is um, mid back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys my nighttime hair routine for my straight hair. Um, this is gonna be a more simpler version um, because I have a different version on my channel as well. So this routine is for hair growth. So if you wanna like grow your hair while you sleep, then follow this routine. And this will definitely work for curly hair as well. You would just skip the wrapping part that I'm gonna show you. Other than that, you can follow this routine as well. Put your hair up in a ponytail, like a pineapple ponytail, and sleep on a silk pillowcase and you'll be fine for curly hair. This is gonna show you guys how I do my simple routine. So first I'm gonna go ahead and take the Nourish by Shante Stimulating Scalp and Hair Oil. And this is a hair growth oil that I've been using for a while. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that. And I'm going to just put that on the roots of my hair. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the Nourish by Shante Scalp and Hair oil and you can find this down in the description box and I'm just going to put that on my hair. Now with straight hair you want to make sure that you don't use an oil that's too heavy because you don't want your hair to be you know too way down or greasy or anything like that so you want to make sure you use like a lightweight oil. Um, this oil that I'm using is kind of in between light and um, yeah it's like just slightly in between so it doesn't really give me that greasy look, but it also does give kind of an oily look. So you guys can like choose from there. Um, if you have curly hair, then of course this is just fine. So I went ahead and put it from the front of my hair to the back of my hair. And now I'm just going to kind of like um, twist that part out of the way and start on the other side doing the exact same thing. Taking my hair from the top and then going all the way to the back of my hair and just dropping the oil directly on my scalp and this works so well um, especially if you have like itchy scalp problems definitely would work to kind of like give you that soothing effect I mean it's not formulated for itchy scalp but I did use it on my daughter's hair and it works really good for her um, I also had to put out a video on what I did for her itchy scalp because she no longer has itchy scalp it's kind of like cured and gone so um, I got the oil all over my hair and so now I'm just going to go ahead and start my scalp massage now scalp massaging is uh, super important to hair growth routines it stimulates the um, scalp to actually achieve hair growth and it also helps you to retain growth it's also just very good for your hair in general and it helps the oils to actually get into your scalp so that your scalp can actually absorb any nutrients so this is definitely my favorite part. It's like a little bit of a self-care routine as well. So I just do that all over my hair. And once I'm done with my actual scalp massage, I just go ahead and take a brush and start to wrap my hair. So you can do this weekly or you can do this on a nightly basis. If you have straight hair, I definitely recommend that you only limit this to weekly or bi-weekly because you don't want your hair to get too oily but if you have natural hair you can do this on a daily basis so I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm just going to brush the oil down my hair strands so that the oil can travel down to my ends if you guys are wondering I don't like to put the oil directly on my ends um, but it will travel down with this brush that I'm using uh, so that my hair is not you know super greasy at the end this is a very old flat iron so I don't really care about it being you know oily or anything as you guys can see it's super old and yes I look like cousin it <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my hair now you can do this many different ways but I like to do it the way that my part is so whatever way my part is going that's where I kind of like you know wrap my hair if that makes sense I hope it makes sense I hope I'm explaining it right so I went ahead and just took that part, the side that's parted, and I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it around my head. 
and I also wanted to let you guys know that when you are wrapping your hair this can take you know some time um, you're probably gonna have to redo your hair wrap a lot especially if you have a a fresh flat iron that is the worst um, so let me know down in the comment section are you a pro at wrapping your hair or does it take you a couple times for me it takes a couple of times and then eventually my hair you know acts right and I actually get it to wrap So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and simply put this, uh, you know, hair wrap on my head. This is kind of like a do-rag, I think, guess you can say. Um, it works the best for me. Um, I know it looks a mess, but I love it. So that was my routine, guys. Um, super quick, super easy. Hopefully you guys try out this routine. If you do, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. It should really be give and take Fill you up and leave me empty Baby, was that to my mistake? Covering these feelings Going through changes I'm just so mad right now I can't even think straight I love you I need some low class on Don't put that in the intro Let me sing though You are